Welcome to this video guys. If I try to run a script or run some command in my PowerShell like this, as you can see, I get this error that says file path cannot be loaded because running script is disabled on the system. So how can we fix this? So the quick and easy method is to just enter this command and hit enter. And after you've entered this command, when I try and when you try to run your command or a script, as you can see, it will run successfully. But what are we doing? So what we are doing right now is we are just giving permission to this PowerShell window. So the scope is process. It means that we are giving permission to this PowerShell window to run whatever we want. Okay. But if I close this and open PowerShell again, we won't be able to do the same thing again because that was applied just to one PowerShell window. Now, if you want to make that change permanent, you need to enter another command. So first, let me show you that it will not work again because that was just applicable to one PowerShell window. So this time again, you're getting this error. Now, if you want to make this change permanent, you need to enter another command and that command is this. So this time it's set execution policy, remote sign, scope is current user. So this time, whenever you are logged in as the current user, you won't be asked for the permission. So now I can again run this command and everything will work. So if I close this and open the PowerShell window again, then also everything will work just fine for the current user. So the current user, you can check your current user by just pressing Windows key and which user you are. So these are the two methods of how you can run any scripts or commands on PowerShell in Windows 11 or Windows 10. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.